Assalamu alaikum second year students. Today's practical is about examination of visual acuity. I am Dr. Noura. With me is Dr. Usman and Amr Saab, who is going to be our subject. You might have heard someone saying that my vision is six by six. What does it mean? It means that he or she can see at a distance of six meters what a normal person would see at a distance of six meters. Someone might say that my visual acuity is six by 12. What does this mean? It means that he or she can see at a distance of six meters what a normal person would see at a distance of 12 meters. So this is not normal. That is what we call as visual acuity. So visual acuity is a measure of the power of the eye and to what extent an eye can appreciate and see the object. Visual acuity is written as D small letter and slash D capital. D small stands for the distance between the individual ex examined and the chart. Whereas D capital stands for the distance at which a normal person would be able to see the object. So visual acuity is D slash D capital. When we do examination of visual acuity, we have to examine the distant vision as well as the near vision. For the distant vision, we use Snellen's chart. And for the near vision, we use Jagger's chart. So this is the Snellen's chart for distant vision and this is the Jagger's chart for the near vision. Snellen's chart can be in English, can be in Urdu, it can be also for the illiterate uh, individuals so they can tell the directions of the E, we call it as E chart and it can also be in shapes and uh, pictures for kids, for children. We have different lines of letters. Each line is different from the other one in size. There is a figure, a number that is written along each line. And this number indicates the distance at which a normal person will be able to see the line. For example, there is 36 here. It means that this line is normally seen at a distance of 36 meters. There is 18 here, which means that this line can normally be seen at a distance of 18 meters. There is 4 here, which indicates that this line can be normally seen at a distance of 4 meters. Different Snellen's charts, they have different sizes of letters. So in some, you will find the number 60 and the size is very big. So if there is 60, it means that the line is to be seen normally at a distance of 60 meters. So it's okay if the Snellen chart is different. What's important is you note down the number. We are going to start the practical. There is Amir Saab with us. So you start with the routine, three important steps in which you introduce yourself to the subject take consent and explain the procedure. Assalamu alaikum Amr Sir. I am Dr. Noura. I am going to practical laser wall practical perform karna hai. Dekhna aapka laser jee hai. Aap permission de sakta. Ye is tra practical hai ki aap 6 meter ki distance se is chart ki saamna latin hai. Aur hum aapko aap se kuch poch nahi hai ki aapko ye line nazar aara hai, ye line nazar aara hai, ye line nazar aara hai. Thik hai. Aur aap bata dengi. Pahle ek sa hai, ek aankho se, uske baad bhai dusra aankho. और उसके बाद फिर हम आपको एक और चार्ट दे देंगे छोटा चार्ट और वो आपका आपका लिया ये नजर नजर आपका करीब बोला नजर लिया तो ये आपका सामना आप हो जाएंगे और आप इसमें लाइंस भी पढ़ लेंगे ठीक है यू विल आस्क द पर्सन टू सिट एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ सिक्स मीटर्स फ्रॉम द चार्ट एंड यू विल टर्न ऑन द so now Amir Saab is sitting at a distance of 6 meters from the chart and you can see that the light on, is on, the, uh, the Snellen's chart light is on. 
you will start with testing the right eye and you will occlude the left eye of the person aap ye left eye ki cover kar de uske sath aur aap sirf right eye ke sath wo dekhenge theek hai you will ask the person to read from the top line and line by line and you will note the last line he is able to read you will see the number which is written next to the line and e c o l d e a h c h n l d so amir saab was able to read all the lines from top to bottom all the lines so we'll see the line which amir saab was able to read and that is the last line and you can see four is written with it which means that at a distance of 6 meters he is able to see what a normal person will see at a distance of 4 meters so his visual acuity will be d small which is 6 slash 4 which is a distance at which that line can normally be read by a normal person we will repeat the same steps by asking the person now to occlude the right eye and start trying to read by the left eye okay. e n c h e a h n h so amir saab was able to read all the lines till the last line and you can see the number is 4 meaning he is able to read a line at a distance of 6 meters so this line is normally to be seen at a distance of 4 meters which is better than normal still it is normal it's not abnormal it is very normal so we will say his visual acuity for left eye is also 6 by 4 6 by 4 means 6 is for the distance between the person and the chart and 4 is the line which he was able to read at which distance it is normally seen so you can see that this is the the visual acuity of mr amir right eye 6 by 4 and left eye is 6 by 4 as well and this is the how we have written as 6 by 4 it is still normal actually better than normal but we will say it's still normal normal is up to 6 by 6 however if it is 6 by 5 or 6 by 4 it is also normal it means that what is normally seen by a normal person at a distance of 4 meter can be seen by mr amar at a distance of 6 meters if the person is unable to read even the top line you ask him or her to decrease the distance the distance between the person and the chart can be decreased by 1 meter still if he or she cannot read the top line you can keep on decreasing the distance by 2 meters 3 meters till he or she is able to see it if still at a distance of 0.5 meter he or she is still unable to see the top line then you will ask him or her to count your fingers at a distance of arm length apni right eye amar saab is able to count the fingers however supposingly in case that your subject is still 
cannot, is still unable to count the fingers, then what you do is, you do hand movements if he can see it. Okay, you have to close your eyes. You have to hand movement. Okay, you have to close your eyes. You have to close your eyes. So, Amr Saab is able to see the hand movements. Supposingly, in case, suppose that your subject is still unable to perceive hand movements. So, what you do is, you check for light perception with a torch. So, uh, Amir Saab is able to read the Snellen's chart up to the last line. We only wanted to demonstrate in front of you, if you get a patient who cannot read even the top line at a distance of 0.5 meters, then you go for finger counting, you go for hand movements, you go for light perception, only if the person is unable to see the top line. So now we are going to do the examination of visual acuity for near vision and what we use is we use the Jaeger's chart. What you will do is you will ask the subject to close the left eye and read using the right eye at a distance of 30 to 45 centimeters from the chart and you will ask him to read the Jaeger's chart from top to lowest line. You will see up to which line the person can read and you will check the number which is written next to the last line the person is able to read. So if the person is able to read all the lines up to N6, it means that his or her visual acuity for near vision is normal because the normal is N6. However, in some books it's written N5 as a normal and some of the Jaeger's charts are made, are made in, a, in a way that there is a series up to N5 and that is okay. So according to your textbook, N6 is the normal visual equity for near vision. It means that the smallest line a person can read is at N6. So, Mr. Amir is able to read up to the last line, line marked as N6. So, this is how we write the visual equity for near vision. For right eye, it's N6 and for left eye, it is N6. So, remember, the normal visual equity for distant vision is 6 by 6 and for near vision, it is N6. However, in some books, if you see it is N5, it is okay, it is also correct, but we are following our, our practical journal. The last step of every practical, you have to thank the person. Thank you so much.